One of the biggest meltdowns in airline history, Southwest Airlines has left thousands of people and luggage stranded across the country. The airline canceled thousand more flights today and has already scrubbed more than 2300 flights on its schedule for tomorrow. And these problems could stretch well beyond that. Local 12's Christian Hauser joining us live from CVG tonight with what you need to know before heading to the airport. Christian, good evening. Good evening, Kyle. Since this storm plunged most of the country into an Arctic freeze, Southwest has canceled roughly three-fourths of its flights. And for those of you in the tri-state planning to fly Southwest in the coming days, right now you've got about a 50-50 shot of having your flight canceled. A Southwest flight taking off from CVG has been a rarity over the past week. A quick look at Southwest flights in and out of the airport shows half the flights for today and tomorrow have been canceled. Prestige Travel Leaders President Dave Hirschberger warns if you have some place to go, try to go on another airline. I foresee for the next week a 50 plus percent cancellation on Southwest just because it's going to take them that long to get their crew and their aircraft and everybody back into place where they need to be. Southwest is still trying to recover from the storm, while other airlines are nearly back to normal. That's because unlike those other airlines, Southwest does not operate using a hub and spoke model. Instead, it uses a point to point system. For instance, let's look at the stops a plane may take in a given day. It starts off in Baltimore and then heads to Columbus and then on to Chicago, then Omaha, and then finally on to Seattle. So if it's canceled from Baltimore to Columbus, the flight's grounded for whatever reason because of a storm like what we had, um, three or four or five flights are canceled down the road. So like a set of dominoes falling from just one, it's the same thing with Southwest. There's also a capacity issue. Southwest flies mostly 737s, which is about a 200 passenger aircraft. You take 200 people and you got to put them on other flights. There's not 200 seats available, you know, so um, it, 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 it was the worst possible timing for a storm like this. These cancellations have drawn the ire of the Department of Transportation and Secretary Pete Buttigieg. I want passengers to know that this department has their back, that we are going to be holding the airline accountable for the way that they are treating passengers. Now, Hershberger tells me that these are the exact situations where paying a travel advisor to plan your trip for you can actually help when that flight gets canceled. Instead of you trying to rebook another flight on your cell phone or call the airline, along with the hundreds of other passengers now also looking for another flight, a travel advisor can do that for you. Now, he also adds Southwest does not work with other airlines. So if a Delta flight gets canceled, for instance, it might book you on an American or United flight if it can't find a seat on one of its planes. Now, Southwest can't and there can't do that, and therefore it might take a week, maybe even longer, before you're able to get another flight on Southwest. Live here at CVG, I'm Christian Hauser. My, 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 Christian, it's hard to wrap your head around all of these delays and cancellations. So you can check the status of your flight through CVG's website, or you can go through FlightAware. From there, you can check where your plane is to see if it's on schedule. We'll have that information on Local12.com and the Local12 News app. Just click on the Southwest Delays. Could last more than a week article once you're there.